Okay, here we go. This is James Maduke speaking from trainingsites.io, and I want to share something with you that might be a problem if you're selling courses and you're selling your own courses versus selling some courses of your own and maybe someone else's courses as well. So here's the situation, and let's see if you can relate to it. You've got a site, you've created a whole bunch of courses, and the courses are ones that you've created, not other people, and you just want to have your own campus, your own training site, and you want to sell your courses. So there's some learning management plugins or learning management software that we recommend for that. And on the other hand, you may have some of your own courses, but also other instructors' courses or even instructors who are not even part of your business or part of your site and you want a way for them to be able to sell courses on your site and maybe share a little bit of the revenue with them. So I have that exact situation where I've got two different parts of a business or one kind of a hobby, one kind of our business and we're going to have to use two different plugins and I'm going to show you why for mm, distributing and selling these courses. So Here's the situation. If I go and I take a look at the training sites, I uh, course library, which is right here. We use a plugin called LearnDash on this one. We've got right now 41 courses and ton of courses, but they're ones that I have all created personally. So that's fine. They're mine. I've organized them in a way that I can with maybe some categories and some tags, trying to get them in a bit of a process by the use of some learning tracks here. And this isn't part of LearnDash, the plugin, it's just kind of how we adapted the categories and the tags that are part of LearnDash to kind of organize it so that there's a start, a kind of a beginning where you're getting started, creating some content is the step number two, building out your training site number three, and of course, marketing your site after the fact. So there's learning tracks of four. We just use some categories here and they also got uh, a way, for example, with the course library, we've organized it by look and say, here's some full courses or mastery courses. Here's some mini courses that are like anywhere from seven to 10 small lessons. And then micro learning, workshop recordings, kind of organize them again with categories and tags. And in this case, I've also got a listing of tags that we used to be able to see, you know, which are the courses that are creation, for example, which are the different tags are associated with you know, managing your campus. And we've got a whole bunch of different ways of organizing them, but it's kind of hard because you see there's only a drop down. You can't pick multiples of them. There's no way to really get uh, strategic when there's a lot of courses. Now, I've got 41 courses here. What about if there's 100 courses? What about if there's 150 courses and they're about more content other than just training sites or creating courses? What are you going to do? Well, that's the situation that we ran into with the other kind of project I'm working on, which is my pickleball friends, which is a side hustle, kind of side hustle. It's a personal interest where we built a site or I built a site for people who are big fans of pickleball. Now, this site is different than our training site, our agency site. It's because all of the content from this particular project is user generated. So the way that we've got this set up is free to join to go in. Um, we've got an activity feed, everything that's going on from the site, whether it be people interacting with each other, people who are putting their own events in, um, people who are friending each other, chatting with each other. It's a community site. I've also got a place up here. Where we've got groups. This allows users to create their own groups. They can invite people to their groups. Those groups can be about anything related to pickleball. I've also got events where people can share their events at their club, their association, tournaments, all sorts of stuff's available there. We've also got the ability for the members to add their own listings, whether those listings be their club listings, that might be associations are part of. And in fact, we've even got a spot for vendors so that vendors who are selling products and services in the pickleball space can go and have a bit of a directory put together for them as well. Now, I did have LearnDash set up, which is the plugin I used on the agency site, which works really well, again, if they were only my courses. But if I have other people creating courses, how am I going to be able to handle that? Well, what I'm going to do here is we're switching from LearnDash. I'm going to go to another plugin and I'm going to show you why right now. There's two or three reasons that are important. 
And that's really the difference between a multi-instructor setup versus a single or limited instructor setup. Here's where we're going to go. I'm going to go to the Tutor LMS uh, plugin, which is made by .com, and I believe they started off as a theme producer for WordPress. These are both WordPress plugins, by the way. Um, and they have a product called Tutor LMS, and there's a couple neat things that it does right away. And here's the first one I'll show you. I'm going to go to the live preview here, which again is just an interface that they've got on their website so you can see how this works. And you can see across here it's got courses, course details, and instructors. So the first thing I want to show you is courses. Now why do I want to show you courses? Because this plugin for managing and delivering the courses is a really, really, really good setup if you've got a whole bunch of different categories, tags, and the ways that you've organized the courses. And what I'm talking about here, you can see that they've made it really easy to see, for example, which courses are parts of these particular categories. We can also see which ones are part of bundles, which ones are just standalone courses. We can also go down and see, well, what are the different levels that are available? Are there any that are only beginners? There's two in those categories that are standalone courses. We've also got the ability to do whether they're free or paid courses. See which ones are free or paid. And we can do the release by newest to latest and the course titles. They're all available here. They've made it really, really easy to manage going over a lot of different topics, categories, and tags with multiple courses. And I think a far easier way than LearnDash does in the standard LearnDash grid. So that's the first one. They've made it really easy for multiple um, multiple courses to be able to uh, be shown quickly and easily and allow the users who may not be overly familiar with taking online courses, it gives them the opportunity to go and select the courses to find out which one's appropriate for them. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that if I'm going to have multiple instructors, there's a great way here where we've got the ability where the instructors go and have a profile and you can see what course or courses individuals and instructors have created. So again, that's built into the system and it gives you an example of uh, all the different courses that this instructor has done. Now, here's the interesting part as well. If you take a look at it, you're going to see prices here. And what the Tutor LMS plugin allows you to do in this case allows me to do is I can invite guest instructors in who can charge for their courses and we're going to share the revenue. Right now we're set at 80% goes to the instructor, 20% goes to us. So we're creating a marketplace of courses with user generated courses, something that LearnDash can do with some extra plugins I believe, but it's just not as elegant or as well set up as Tutor LMS. Now here's the final piece that I want you to consider. If I have 10 instructors or 20 instructors or 30 instructors versus two or three employees creating courses, what's the one thing I don't want to do with all these additional instructors? I don't want to give them access to the back end of my WordPress site. I would love for them to be able to add their courses from the front end. And in fact, that's what the Tutor LMS plugin allows it. it is from the front end, what I can do is there's a front end drag and drop course builder. So that allows me to authorize someone who has registered for the site to also be an instructor. They can add their courses right from being logged in as a user to the site. And this is a big issue, obviously, if you've got a lot of instructors and you might have all sorts of stuff going in in the back end administration, permissions, all of the stuff that you don't want to have to worry about, it's taken care of uh, here. So what are we going to do? I'm going to end up taking the courses that we have um, that are done with LearnDash here on my Pickleball France, and we're in fact going to add them and put them and make them available with the content, with the ability to create not only the pricing, the models, courses, bundles, and all of those categories, just easy for people to select and use. And we'll do that in a way that allows all sorts of instructors to add their courses. So which one's best for you? Well, they're both great plugins. They both work with WordPress, WordPress pardon me. And it's really uh, up to you, in my opinion, uh, about the number of courses that you're creating or that you're wanting to sell and deliver. And more importantly, how many instructors are involved in doing that. So 
take a look, both of them. I'll put the links below. We've got uh, Tutor LMS and we've got Learn Dash LMS are both, again, great plugins and uh, gives you the ability to start, build, and grow your education business and or your community. This is James Medic speaking from trainingsites.io. If you need help getting a course created, we'll do that for you. Getting a training site created, we'll do that for you as well. Take care and expect the best.